This is Lamu Island, known for its breathtaking beauty, rich in culture and tradition, the sandy beaches here. For the locals, this is heaven because of the abundance of the ocean for the fishermen. For the local and international tourists, this is paradise. It's the place to be. But most of these people fear that all this will be threatened because of the coal project that is set to begin in this county. It is one of the biggest projects in the country and for this county. And I want to talk to scientists and the experts and the locals to find out what they feel and what they think about this project. Is it good for the environment? Is it good for the locals? Is it good for the country? The stunning views of this beautiful island from any vantage point is more than enchanting and fresh even for those who've lived here for decades. For a first timer, the deep blue ocean is like a glue that has frozen this coastline still stuck in the past. Construction of high-end homes and hotels dotting the island is a key indicator that tourism is still an economic booster here. There is a clever but delicate balance of infusing development and still preserve the old Swahili architecture under the pristine natural environment. Lamu is the same yesterday, today, but its future is uncertain. There is pressure for this oldest town in Kenya to evolve. Founded in 1370, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is first changing. The change is clearly emblazoned on the t-shirt of Walid Ahmed Ali of Save Lamu, an activist group fighting what he calls the evils of a controversial coal project. The organization has gone to court faulting the Lamu coal plant project, terming it a setback to environmentally friendly energy initiatives. 75% of the residents of Lamu, the entire Lamu, they are supporting us against the project because they know the, the impact. And we've been there with the facts. We've been uh, disseminated the information with the facts. We show them the, the scenario from the South Africa. We've been able to send people to make an exchange in South Africa. And they came, they came down and explained the effect from the South Africa. So people, they've been realized and they accept us because we are very innocent organization. We have not been engaged in any, uh, we have not been betrayed the community. Lamu is caught up in the middle of a high stakes debate whose outcome has the capacity to threaten its very existence. The region has 33.9% of forest cover. It's one of the richest counties that you have in this country. And uh, we are talking of a magnificent, unmatched ecological infrastructure in this region. With rich mangroves, 70% uh, of the mangroves found in this country are in this county. You are talking of the coral richness. You are talking of the livelihoods that are supported by the sea. You are talking of all these things that are surrounded. And you can imagine, the higher a forest cover in a region, the better the economic value and the better the economic activities that you can find, the better the livelihoods, the lesser the sicknesses and all this kind of a situation. So the question should be, uh, are we adding value or not adding value? Kenya is about to set up a coal plant in this island a decision that contradicts its option to stick to renewable energy resources and abide by the Paris Agreement of 2015 that committed countries to reducing carbon emissions in order to reverse the devastating effects of climate change. Alim Suo is a 72-year-old veteran fisherman. Like many fishermen around Lamu, there has been no engagement between those in charge of the project and the local fishermen. The National Environment Management Authority paid them a visit once. 
Nema walikuja waliwaambiaje? Nema walikuja wakasema kwamba watatukua maoni kwa watu. Watu wakisema kwamba mradi una madhara kwa hivyo NEA hataruhusu hatatoa leseni. Lakini nimepata kwamba kwamba Nema amekubali kutoa leseni. Na wavuvi baina kiasi ya asilimia tano asili ya tano tano tu ambao ndio wamepata habari hiyo lakini kuna asilimia mia ambao hawakupata habari hiyo kutoka kiunga mpaka kufika kisingitini mpaka fadha hawakwenda kuelimisha watu kuambia kwamba mradi utakuwa na madhara au na madhara it's not just ali who has no clue about the impact of the coal plant tunasikia kwa katika wale watu wa uchunguzi ambao wanachunguza mambo haya na wanaojua kile huu huu mradi Yeah. wanasema nini kwamba huu mradi ukija utatuharibia manini ma mazingira kama kupoteza samaki maeneo haya karibu kwenda mbali kama hivyo tunavyosikia experts warn that the coal power plant is a scandal of monumental proportions given that countries that have used this energy resource are shutting down due to the adverse effects they've had in their countries. Greenpeace experts explained the kind of pollution that we expect. If that is the situation, then clearly Kenya will become the biggest emitter in, uh, in, uh, in uh, the entire continent of Africa. So we need to investigate those figures and those scientific statements that you can't just wish away. They also raised a very important issue. And uh, the expert talked about 1,600 premature deaths that are going to be caused out of this process. Again, 1,600 people dying out of something that is scientifically proven that it can cause an issue is something that just simply needs to be investigated. You can't wish that away. The proposed 1,050 megawatts coal-fired electricity generating plant has a 25-year agreement already signed by the government. To the Kenyan taxpayer, it means every year 36 billion Kenya shillings will be paid as capacity charges for the plant. The contention is, however, not just the cost implication to the economy, but its impact to the environment. Dr. John Musengi was involved in the Lamu Coal project as a consultant in the environmental assessment. Coal is very polluting. Uh, everybody is moving out of coal. For example, as you know, late as last year, China, you know, cancelled over 300 licenses, new licenses for coal. So China itself, which, has, which is the most um, user of coal, is moving out of coal. Lamu is not the right place. Even with the, the so-called Lapset, you wonder, then you have Lapset there, and then you put a pollution just, just there, a few meters. I mean, it's within the same environment. I mean, it does not make an economic sense. Studies done on coal-fired power plants around the world show an increase in hospital admissions for patients because of the poisonous gases. The quick investment on this alternative, despite the country having rich renewable energy options, is raising questions. This project was more like, like you know, sneaked very fast. It was supposed to have started, by the way. It was, and yet, you know, with all these issues, it was like being sneaked in very fast, so that by the time people realize that the, the plant is, is already in operation. So consultation was really very limited. Um, as I've said, uh, there was very few public meetings. In fact, the outgoing Minister for Environment, uh, Judy Wahungu, said there's no clean coal. Perhaps maybe that's why she has lost her job, because she was against it. Obviously we've got two developments happening on our doorstep here. We've got the port development which is um, real and happening and, um, and that, you know, that could be good, could be amazing. We, we've no idea which way that's going to go. But the coal power plant is 
a massive concern to all of us. I mean, that, that is basically the nail in the coffin that nobody's going to reopen that coffin with. Amu Power Company, a consortium including Centum Investments, has made no provision for the building of a hospital to cater for these inevitable illnesses, says Dr. Musingi. Kenya currently has a power capacity of around 2,500 megawatts, which means that it needs to generate almost 10 times more to meet the power needs outlined in Vision 2030. The country needs power. 1,050 megawatts is something huge that you cannot put under the carpet. Other countries uh, have gone this route before, before they got to where they are today. So these are considerations, and there are funds that the country, the community, the county of Lamu can be able to access so that you compare and consider. So these are issues that we just need to check. These are issues that need to be very keenly looked at without having to politicize, because nobody does not want, only a silly person, would not want uh, development in their country or in their county and their communities. When you say that you are going to be a part of the Islamic world, you are going to be a part of the Islamic world. You are going to be a part of the Islamic world. You are going to be a part of the Islamic world. You are going to be a part of the Islamic world. You are going to be a part of the Yani waharibifu, fasadi ni corruption. Right in front of the proposed site for the coal plant is a hotel sitting along the pearly ocean. Business is picking up after a wave of terrorist attacks and travel advisories hit Lamu. But just as far as Dyer is picking up the pieces, the dreadful thought of poisonous smoke covering the skies above his hotel is enough to shut down his business and many others around here. My concern is not just about me and a lodge and, and revenue um, and, and my future. My concern is much more about actually this whole archipelago. I, I love it. It's, um, it's, a, it's such a precious, unique place. Um, and I would hate to see it destroyed. And I would hate to see the lives of the people that live here destroyed. And so, you know, further destruction and, and um, impact on fishing, gases and acid rain falling over the Boney and Daduri forest with the southeast monsoon and then acid rain falling across Lamo and Mandar and this amazing brand new port that's being built doesn't make sense to me. Um, there, there's nothing that makes sense to me on the coal power plant. And to bring coal from South Africa up to here, and I believe, but I'm not sure, that South Africa are buying their coal in India because they're, they're, they haven't got enough. So that boat's going to go past us from India down to South Africa with clean coal, load dirty coal and bring it up here and, and make a coal power plant. Doesn't make sense to me. Everything swings gently to the rhythm of refreshing breezes as the eye catches the green carpet beneath the beautiful sky. One of the things they say is the chimney is going to be very, very tall. It will take the effluence very far. <laughs> but then those effluents still descend down because those are heavy metals, heavy gases. And the farther you take it up, the, 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 you know, the more area it covers. So in fact, that will even enable that, uh, the pollution to reach the island itself. Although the, the location is 20, 21 kilometers from the island. But then, because of the way it is again. So those are some of the issues. And then they say they will use, uh, the method they will use will reduce pollution. But once you read again, you realize it's not. It's not, it's not what they are saying, you know. The surveyors and prospectors of the Lamu coal project came to Kwasasi village over four years ago and urged farmers to sell their parcels of land for the development of the plant.
Kwa hivyo kwa hii shamba yeah. katika hii box umesema mm. ulipokwenda kule lands ni Nairobi. Hapana, hapa Mkoa. Hapo Mkoa. Mm. So ulipata shamba yako iko haja? Imetiwa mtu watu wange, wageni. Majina mengine yako ndani? Yeah. Na nikalalamika mimi kwa ambao ni kwa Huseni Mamo alikuwa ni mpimaji wao. Huseni Mamo nikalalamika nikaenda kule Tilago ambao naishi nyumbani na tukufuatana mimi na yeye akanambia hata tutaenda kuangalia kwa kompyuta. Tukaenda tukaangalia wakiulizwa wale makarani wakasema ni kweli wako watu. They were promised 1.2 million shillings per acre but the price was revised downwards to 800,000 shillings and the villagers were not happy about the deal. Ndio si wazuri ndio alikuja kutuambia pale mutake mstake pesa ni hiyo lakini lakini kwa nini aliwaambia mtake mstake mkomeaidiwa pesa zingine pale mwanzo sasa hiyo hiyo tulikuja kusikia baadaye kwamba kuna mabanyenye ambao moja walijitokeza baada ya kusikia hizi vitu kwamba zitakuwa zitatakikanwa wakaja wakazipima juu kwa juu hata si wenyewe wenye mashamba tuko huko lakini hatukujua vile walivyozipima Mwana, sijui kama alienda tayari kwa land in Nairobi ama alitumia means gani ambayo ya kupima kwa sababu hakukuja survey kupima. Tu walisema tu kwamba kuna matajiri moja ambao wako na karatasi za hii sehemu. Na ambapo hii sehemu iko kama around 40 years. Tokea mababu zetu wanalima. Na hakuna mtu aliyekuja akasema ni zake. Baada tu kwa sasa zitatakikana zimekuwa gale zenye thamani the Lamu coal power plant, part of the Lapset corridor, is well on its way to realization after a Malindi court declined to hear a case seeking to stop the establishment of the coal plant. For many locals here, there is clearly no one confident enough to speak of the advantages or disadvantages of the project. There is lack of information. <laughs> na ule ambaye tabahatika manake walikuwa wataka eka 900 acres kwa sababu tutachukua sisi na tutakuwa na coal plan wakaja wakatuonesha chimni mahali ambapo wataeka ona wakaja wakawa ni wakaulizo maswali kuhusu ile ash mahali ambapo watamwaga wakaelezea tutamwaga sehemu gani na waliwaambia watamwaga sehemu ipi iko na sehemu nyingine chini huko ndo ambao walikuwa wamesema watamwaga ash yeah. alafu wakasema na ile chimni ambayo inatoa ile moshi mbaya wakasema wataipeleka juu zaidi kiasi ya kwamba ile moshi hataikatoka itakuwa ni yenye kuseparate juu tuangane itakuja chini so from the women that you've talked to and those that you interact with, what's their feeling about this? What's their opinion on this? Um, you know, the women here, most, most of them, they don't bother about much. All they care about is their families. The discussion has moved from Bodrums to the local mosques in Lamu. The coal plant's environmental impact assessment report that was given the green light by NEMA has been found not credible by independent environmentalists who have reviewed it. Mradi huu wataka kuwetwa masa tuangalie na kutegemea watu ambao wasomi ambao hawako huku hawako kule watatupa ule uhakika wa mambo kisayansi scientifically watuambie kwamba kisayansi mradi huu una ABC ikionekana kwamba madhara yake yamezidi faida zake basi mwe kwa mwe tuambie sisi hatutaki umradi kwa sababu una madhara kwetu sisi a source working for Amu Power the company that is developing the coal project in a joint venture with Gulf Energy and Centum Investment said there is a lot of misinformation about the coal plant the old plants are the problematic ones but we are using ultra supercritical technology which is 99% pure emissions. Kuna watu kila mwaka ndani ya Europe na Europe mwaiwa si Afrika ni hali ya juu ya kiafya na serikali kuwasimamia raia wake ndani ya Europe ile yote kwa mwaka watu 2023 hufa 
kwa sababu unaathiriwa na maafa na maafa ya moshi unaotokana na matumizi ya makaa ya mawe the, the process of coal mining here will 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 emit five times more of uh, of uh, will pollute five times more than any other situation of a coal uh, a coal mining uh, uh, setup uh, that is normal and that is allowed and just to bring this into uh, a clear perspective in china the allowable and this is now what is supposed to be a green uh, coal uh, project in china it's supposed to emit 5 milligrams of nitrogen oxide per cubic meter and this is what is supposed to be the cleanest if if you may uh, if if then greenpeace says that it is going to pollute 5 times more 5 to 10 times more then this must be investigated energy experts argue that the 1050 megawatts that is supposed to come from the Lamu coal plant is unnecessary and expensive. The current power companies only need to tidy up the current distribution. On the other hand, Amu Power says, out of the 1,050 megawatts that will be generated, 68 megawatts will be consumed by the plant itself, 981 megawatts will be injected to the national grid. And why Lamu? The source from Amu Power says, Lamu makes sense as a gateway into developing northern Kenya. The kind of technology envisioned in this project is making environmentalists, tourists and the local residents nervous and putting to bed any concerns raised this far will be the biggest test for this project and those behind it. So as a young person, mm -hmm. and uh, a woman for that matter, does this worry you, uh, thinking of the future, what is going on through your mind right now? Yes, because the coal plant, when it comes, like, you know, I'm against it basically because of the health issues. As a young person, I want to live a healthy life. I want to live a non-detective life, that is. I don't want to be like, you know, the, you know, the countries which have been affected by the nuclear, how the people were yeah. like afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I worry much about that. Sisi, wakaaji wa county hii, kutatumia sehemu ndogo tu ya umeme mba utaka kuzalishu. Wataka ufaidi zaidi, ni watu wenzetu wa Kenya wengine wa sehemu nyingine ambapo madhara yote yatatupata sisi ile hasara yote itakao kusababishwa na umradi ya kiafya ya kimazingira ya kiuchumi itatuangukia sisi lakini manufaa na faida na mapato ya mradi wenyewe itakwenda kwa Kenya wenzetu sisi tutakuwa ni watu tumekuwa ni kama uh, victims wa umradi this is lamo famously known as Lamu Tamu. It's rich in history for hundreds and hundreds of years in culture and in diversity and their tradition as well. A lot of people stream in here just love the serene environment. When people come here, they relax the tourists who are both local and international. And for the fishermen as well, there's abundance from the ocean. But all this is under threat. And some of the people we've talked to are uh, a bit paranoid about this coal project that is soon to start here in Lamu County.